Hi everyone. Today in this video we are going to discuss about calculations on first order kinetics. First of all let us see what is the difference between the zero order and first order kinetics. Which type of kinetics can be classified as first order? In the zero order the rate is constant that's why it is called as zero order kinetics but in the first order the rate is variable that means rate is not constant and it depends on the initial concentration of the substrate. So this is the main difference between the zero order and first order. If we write the rate equation in the zero order the dc by dt is equal to minus k where k is a constant which is called as zero order rate constant. In this way the rate of the reaction is constant in the zero order. But in the first order the rate equation is dc by dt is equal to minus k into c where the rate of the reaction is directly proportional to concentration of the substrate. So as the concentration of the substrate decreases the rate of the reaction also decreases. And another important difference between the zero order and first order is that half life of the reaction. In the zero order half life is variable but in the first order half life is constant. So this is quite opposite. The rate is constant and half life is variable in the zero order. Whereas in the first order the rate is variable but half life is constant. So if we see the equation for half life in the zero order t half is equal to c naught by 2k. So here the half life is directly proportional to the initial concentration. So half life is variable with the initial concentration of the substrate. But in case of first order half life t half is equal to 0.693 by k. Here you can observe that in this equation we cannot find any term of concentration. So half life is independent of the concentration. And this half life depends only on the rate constant. So it is not variable, it remains constant. So these are the differences between the zero order and first order kinetics. So today in this video we will see if you have the calculations involved with the first order kinetics. So first of all it is the kinetic equations both for zero order as well as first order. In the zero order we have seen the rate equation as dc by dt is equal to minus k and when we integrate this we will get an equation like this. c is equal to c naught minus k into t where c is the concentration at any time t and c naught is the initial concentration and k is the zero order rate constant t is the time. Similarly in the first order we have seen that the rate equation dc by dt is equal to minus k into c. So when we integrate this we will get an equation like this. k is equal to 2.303 by t into log of c naught by c. So this is the equation for the first order kinetics. So when the drug is going to be administered by IV infusion it follows the zero order kinetics of absorption. Similarly most of the drugs which are going to be administered they are going to be eliminated from the body through the first order kinetics. So now let us see if you have the calculations involved with the first order kinetics. Working example 1. A drug solution has an initial potency of 800 mg per 10 ml. When stored in the refrigerator for one year its potency was declined by 600 mg per 10 ml. The degradation of the drug involves the interaction with the glass container and it follows pseudo first order kinetics. Then calculate the rate constant for the drug as well as half life of the drug. So here the drug is showing the pseudo first order kinetics that means even the molecularity is more than one but still it shows first order kinetics. So now let us calculate the rate constant and half life for this drug by using the first order rate equations. Solution to working example 1. Which equation we have to use? So we have to use the first order equation. So k is equal to 2.303 by t into log of c naught by c. Here the term log c naught by c is in the numerator. Otherwise we can use another equation k is equal to 2.303 by t into log of a by a minus x. So here A is the initial concentration and A minus X is the final concentration. Now let us list out the data given. Initial concentration that is C naught otherwise A 
is given as 800 mg per 10 ml final concentration which is indicated by c otherwise a minus x is not given but we have given the other data that the concentration of the drug is declined by 600 mg per 10 ml so this degradation was achieved within one year of the time so within one year the concentration is declined by 600 mg per 10 ml so here we have to carefully observe that the final concentration is not 600 mg per 10 ml but what are the concentration that was degraded is 600 mg per 10 ml that means here x is equal to 600 mg per 10 ml then what is the final concentration so final concentration will be indicated by a minus x which is nothing but 800 minus 600 which gives 200 mg per 10 ml because here all the units are measured per 10 ml simply we can detect the 800 minus 600 which will get the 200 mg so drug with the 200 mg per 10 ml concentration is present after one year storage in the refrigerator now by using this data let us calculate the rate constant so again let us list out the data given c0 is given as 800 mg per 10 ml final concentration c was obtained as 200 mg per 10 ml and, and the time for degradation is one year then we have to calculate the k value so we can use this equation k is equal to 2.303 into log c0 by c whole by t so by substituting in this equation 2.303 into log of 800 by 200 by time is the one year now by solving this it will gives 2.303 into log 4 so log 4 is nothing but 0 0.6020 so substituting this value will get the k as 1.39 year inverse so the rate constant of the drug is 1.39 year inverse now let us calculate the half-life of the drug what is the equation we have to use for first order kinetics kind of half-life t half is given as 0 0.693 by k so we got the k value as 1.39 year inverse then substituting in this equation t half is equal to 0 0.693 by 1.39 so when we solve this we will get 0 0.50 years as the half-life we can also convert this into the months so by multiplying with the 12 we will get the months that is nothing but six months so this drug is having a half-life of six months in this way we can calculate the rate constant as well as half-life for a first order kinetics let us go with another working example working example 2 a drug with half-life of 7 r has shown a plasma concentration 10 mg per liter after 23 hours calculate elimination rate constant as well as initial concentration of the drug in the plasma let us see the solution to this working example 2 again what is the data given initial concentration of the drug c0 is not given and we have to identify it and the final concentration of the drug c is given as 10 mg per liter and what are the time elapsed is t is equal to 23 hour and half life is given as 7 hours so by using this data we can calculate the rate constant as well as the initial concentration of the drug so which equation we have to use again we can use the equation k is equal to 2.303 into log of c0 by c whole by t but here we don't know the k value the elimination rate constant this elimination rate constant can be obtained from half-life of the drug so now we can use this equation k is equal to 0.693 by t half t half is given as 7 hours so by substituting in this equation k is equal to 0.693 by 7 which on solving we will get as 0 0.099 r inverse so the elimination rate constant of the drug is 0 0.099 r inverse now let us calculate the initial concentration by using the equation k is equal to 2.303 into log of c0 by c whole by t so here the c value is given as 10 mg per liter and t is 23 hours and k is equal to 0 0.099 r inverse and we have to calculate the c0 value so let us rearrange this equation now log c0 by c is equal to k into t by 2.303 
so by substituting the values here it will be 0 0.099 into 23 by 2.303 again by solving we will get the value as 0.99 so log c0 by c is equal to 0 0.99 so when we take the anti-logarithm, we will get the ratio of C0 by C. But here C value is already given as 10 mg per liter. So we can write this as C0 by 10 is equal to anti-logarithm of 0.99. So anti-logarithm is nothing but 10 to the power of. So we can write this as 10 to the power of 0.99. So which on solving we will get 9.74. So C0 by 10 is equal to 9.74. Otherwise, C0 is equal to 10 into 9.74. So, we will get the C0 is equal to 97.4 mg per liter. So, the initial concentration of the drug is 97.4 mg per liter. In this way, by using these two equations, K is equal to 2.303 into log C0 by C whole by T as well as another equation T half is equal to 0.693 by K by Using these two equations, we can calculate kinetic parameters in first order kinetics. So that's about the calculations of first order kinetics. In our next video, we'll come with more number of examples in the first order kinetics as well as the calculations involved with the zero order kinetics. So that's for today. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends, post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.